the Iconesis 360 View Creator software. This is a standalone application designed for converting 360 degree image sets into interactive 360 product views. The software is a one-time purchase that will allow users to create and output infinite 360 product views that are completely unbranded that is free of the Iconesis logo. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I've uh, shot 24 images, edited these, and I'm simply going to go and drag and drop these into the 360 View Creator application. What you'll see is a progress bar importing the images, and what we will see immediately after they've been imported is uh, a preview file of what we've created already. Um, you're going to see here in the 360 View settings, um, there's four different output types. Uh, the first uh, two, the HTML5 and the interactive MP4, are both interactive. That is click and drag mouse control left and right. They can have player button, stop, move the object left and right, zoom in, zoom out, uh, etc. Um, you also do have the option for animated GIF. These are great for social media, as well as just the standard MP4 video. Um, Information on each of these types of output in greater detail is available on our website. I've included a link in the video description below should you be interested in finding out more. Um, the next thing that we're going to see is our duration of one full turn. So when I hit the play button here, you're going to see it auto plays. Um, users can adjust this. So if I think that's spinning a bit too slow, I can say instead of 6.5 seconds, I can say 5 seconds. And that's actually going to speed up the 360 view. So maybe I'll say, okay, great, that, uh, that looks wonderful. Um, now we can uh, move on to further customizing these. These are all going to be completely customizable through the software. Uh, first thing I can point out here is our player buttons. We've got a lot of different options here. Um, maybe instead of black, uh, we want a blue square player button. Um, I will just hit reload preview here, and we're going to see instead of these uh, black buttons that I had previously, these are going to revert to um, different player buttons. So let's just say for the sake of this demo, uh, these buttons look good. Users will have the ability to upload their own custom buttons so you can match the look and feel of your website if required. Uh, the next thing you're going to see is output size, width or height. Um, you do a full control um, over whatever size output you want. You can define that just by clicking and dragging. You can enter a custom size if required as well. Um, so that's just kind of the main UI that you see here. Now, moving on, we'll go into advanced settings, and this is where you can kind of do your further customization. Um, so the first thing here under the player and the UI, um, you're going to see we can include or exclude buttons. So um, right now, these are all the button options that we have. I'm going to say I don't want the full screen button, and I'm going to just adjust the button position. So for instance, uh, maybe I want the zoom button in the bottom right. Um, so again, we've eliminated the full screen button and we're going to move this zoom button here to the bottom right. Let me just reload the preview and we can show you those changes have taken effect. So that looks better there. Uh, that's, that's kind of more in line with, uh, with what I prefer. Um, the other thing that you can do, again, as I'd mentioned, is you can actually go and upload your own theme. That is your own button. So you can install those. You can save them. They'll be displayed in the list. And you can, uh, you know, just just choose your own buttons if need be. Uh, the next thing that we're going to see here is our control. Um, so you can reverse the pointer, click and drag direction. If you'd shot your images in counterclockwise, um, chances are the mouse cursor moving left and right is going to be in the wrong direction. So you would just select reverse pointer drag direction. Um, the other thing that you can do is when you import your images, um, I'd selected to retain the images for the deep zoom, the maximum high resolution images. If your images are very high resolution and you don't want, you know, say they're 3000 by 3000 pixels and you only want to show maximum zoom up to 1500 by 1500 pixels, you would say maximum zoom 0 0.5, which essentially means 50% of your highest resolution images. Um, we also do have the option for horizontal drag speed. That is the sensitivity of the mouse left and right and vertical drag speed. That is, if you're importing images in different rows, so it would be a multi-row 360 instead of just left and right, up and down, um, you can also adjust your vertical drag speed. The last thing that we have is a mouse wheel zoom. Um, you can enable or disable that as required. Moving on, we do have the rotation. So let me just, currently as it is, it's rotate on start, um, and it will just continuously rotate for infinite amount of time. Um, an option would be maybe something like rotate just once, which would mean 
it will go, I'll just hit reload preview here. It'll spin its first initial 360 turn and then it will stop and we'll see that in just a second here. So now it will stop and then user can go and move the object, obviously left and right is required, view whatever frame they want and uh, you know zoom in or whatever it might be. Um, the other option, start rotation in reverse direction, that would be again if you shoot your object in uh, counterclockwise rotation, you'd probably want to use the start rotation in reverse direction. And the other one is bounce rotation. Essentially what it would be, uh, just think of maybe it's a 180, you don't need to show the back of a product, it would just kind of bounce back and forth just like you're seeing right here. So it wouldn't continuously play, it would just go left, then right, and then back left again. And uh, the last option we have, if you're choosing MP4, one of the MP MP4 outputs, um, you can choose the bitrate. That would essentially define the overall image quality um, of the uh, or the video quality. Um, so that's an option. Again, should you be choosing the MP4. The next thing that we're going to see inside of the software is the ability to add hotspots. Um, and I can kind of communicate this here real quick. There is four different options. Uh, you do have an image hotspot. When you click on that hotspot, it's going to display an image along with a description. Um, JavaScript hotspot will automatically call or trigger a custom JavaScript function. Um, the URL hotspot will automatically open up a new web page. So maybe it's on this product we want to have a link to. Maybe it's a video that we have hosted on YouTube. You could just insert that URL and when the user clicks on that hotspot, it will link directly to that. Blank hotspot would just, it shows as a hotspot with some text. It uh, doesn't provide any action though. So walking through, let's go ahead and install an image hotspot. Um, I'm just going to give it a name here. I'll just write test. Um, we're going to go and select, maybe it's a blue button there. Uh, these will be customizable as well. You can upload your own hotspot icon should you prefer. Um, and maybe what we want to do is we want to show the input area. So I'm just going to hit open here and uh, let's hit uh, save. And what we want to do now is we want to go and start inserting this hotspot. So I'm just going to click the hotspot icon, position it on my frame accordingly, and then I use the next and the previous buttons um, to just kind of select where I want to, uh, you know, what frames I wish to include this on. So I'm just going to include it in four frames for now. So that looks pretty good there. I'm just going to hit the return just so we can kind of reload a preview for you and show you the new 360 view with the hotspot on it. So there's the hotspots that we've added. Um, let's go ahead and move it to the hotspot and just to show you the action there. Um, that's again the image hotspot. So it will link to an additional image. It's great for visual communication should you wish to communicate um, some additional features and or functionality of a product. Um, the next thing that we have here would be analytics. Uh, should you wish to track these 360 product views, you can enter your Google Analytics tracking ID um, and just get some very good feedback on these and the overall effects of 360 product views on your website. And the last thing that we have is customization. Uh, this is basically adding a watermark to the product image. So let me just show you quickly how this is done. I'm just going to go and hit browse and let's go and find our folder where we have a hotspot and it's Iconis's logo. So we've uploaded it and um, basically right here offset X and Y, it's going to start in the top left. So if I just hit reload preview right now, you're going to see the hotspot is just in the direct top left corner. And maybe that looks good. I'd maybe like to add a little bit of padding here. So I'm going to just put uh, maybe it's 20 pixels offset on the X axis and 20 pixels offset on the Y axis. I will hit reload preview and you're going to see that is moved slightly off the edge there and will probably look a little bit more visually appealing. All right, so that looks great. Should you not wish to include a hotspot, you don't need to. You can just hit the remove button, reload preview again, and um, obviously you'll see the hotspot is gone. So that's just a rough overview um, of the customization. Uh, again, you can really get these 360s dialed into your exact requirements and specifications. Uh, the net last thing that we're going to do here is we could give a project title if we want. That's just a basic meta tag title. It's good for SEO purposes. Um, then it's our output. So I'm going to choose output settings local and I'll circle back around quickly after outputting to discuss uh, these other options here. So I'm just going to call this Nikon D5300 and we're going to go and choose whatever folder save to location we want. So let me just go browse and 
We're just gonna save it back to that Nikon D5300 folder. I'll just select that folder. I will hit the Save button. And within just a few seconds, um, we've created our 360 output. So let's go and take a look at that here. As we can see right here, the Nikon D5300 folder. Um, the two files, basically with this folder, you'll upload it to your own servers, and then you'll link to either the iframe or the index file. And uh, after those are hosted, you can embed them into your website. This is just viewing locally here. So this is what we just created very fast and efficiently. Again, user interactive, you have your play buttons, your pause button, your left arrow, right arrow. And then obviously we do have our uh, hotspot, as you can see there. And we do have a zoom in and zoom out button. So uh, very fast, very efficient, very easy for creating your 360 product views. Um, the other option, as I'd mentioned, you could output a local and uploadable archive here, uh, meaning uh, basically it would output to, again, the local folder. Then you'll also have an uploadable archive that you can upload to our own servers. And the last option would just be upload directly to our own server. I'm just gonna hit my save button here. Basically what you'll do is create a, uh, a hosting account on our Stream 360 servers and enter in your credentials here and you'll give it a product name, give it a description. I'll just write test. I will hit upload. And the great thing about this is, um, again, should you not wish to host on your own servers, you can use our servers. We've got server a server farm all over, uh, or I guess servers all over the world um, just for very fast streaming of your 360 product views and um, it just makes it easy you can just take basically a link like this here and embed it in your web page and again the kind of the same thing as I'd shown you before you know with the deep zoom with the the hotspot icons etc so that's an actual live link that you can embed directly into your website um, if you have any questions let us know uh, the company is iconesis and additional information is in the video description below thank you